Okay, let's try to solve geometric means. Again, when you say means, it definitely measures the center or the average. Example number one, insert four geometric means between 5 and 1,250. Again, I need to understand the problem itself first. That I need to insert four geometric means. So therefore, between 5 and 1,215. So I need to illustrate first for my solution. For my illustration, I have 5 as my first term, then 4 geometric means, so 4 blanks here. Then the last term would be 1,215. That's it. So this is my a sub 1, a sub 2, a sub 3, a sub 4, a sub 5, and a sub 6. So I have 6 terms all in all. So again, my first term is 5, and my last term is 1,215. So I need to look for a sub 2, a sub 3, a sub 4, and a sub 5. Next step. So again, I'll be looking for the common ratio. But how to use or to solve common ratio in this way? So again, I'll be using the last term to solve for the common ratio. And use the a sub 1 as my first term. So again, a sub 6 is known, which is 1,215. And n is also 6. a sub 1 is given which is 5, and R is a known. Now, use the formula. Again, it's A sub N is equal to A sub 1 times R to the power of N minus 1. So, I'll be using A sub 6. So, A sub 6 can be substituted as 1,215. A sub 1 can be substituted again as 5. Because it's given. And R is a node to the power of N, which is 6 minus 1. Next step is to subtract. So 5, R to the power of 6 minus 1. The answer is 5. So just copy 1250. Now, what's the answer of 5 times R to the power of 5? It's just simply 5, R to the power of 5. Then 1250. 50. Next, what could be your solution here? So I need to divide both sides by 5 so that r to the power of 5 will be remained. So 5 divided by 5, the answer is r to the power of 5. Then 1215 divided by 5 is... So 12 divided by 5, the answer is 2, that's 10... Subtract the 21, that's 4. 4 times 5, that's 20. Then subtract 15, that's 243. So therefore, I have 243 here is equal to r to the power of 5. But my next step is to find only r. So my next solution would be fifth root of r to the power of 5. So that r will be your remaining answer so if I have here fifth root I also have here fifth root of 243 so 243 so what could be your answer so again let's try to verify 243 is it 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 so again let's 3 times 3, that's 9, times 3, 27, times 3, it's 81, times 3, it's 243. So that's correct. And this is 3 to the power of 5. So 243 is actually 3 to the power of 5. So therefore, I need to replace here... 3 to the power of 5 is equal to 5th root of also r to the power of 5. Then it will be cancelled out. Cancelled out. 
and the remaining is r is equal to 3. So your common ratio is just 3. So 5, so this will be 3. And this will be 3. So 5 times 3, the answer is 15. 15 times 3, the answer is 45. 45 times 3, it's 135. And 135 times 3, it's 405. And 405 times 3 is 1,250. That's it.